Watch it guys, if your computer is acting up or having issues after you've updated, I'm going to show you how to uninstall the Windows 10 update that may be causing an issue with your computer. You can see we're running version 21H1 here. I was having an issue with Valorant every time I played that game. There was issues with the icons and then I couldn't uh, do anything with the computer until I rebooted. So I'm going to uninstall it. Now you can go to control panel here and you'll be able to see the latest updates that you've got for your Windows 10 operating system. These will be downloaded on your computer when you use the Windows Update feature. If you go to View Installed Updates, you'll see a big list of them here. Now, sometimes when you click on these updates, right next to the new Organize button, you should see an Uninstall feature where you can uninstall it. With this particular update, because it's a feature update, you won't be able to uninstall this by this method. So you will have to use a different alternative method to uninstall uh, this feature update. So remember, you only get 10 days to uninstall a feature update. So if you're having problems, it's best to roll back as soon as possible. Otherwise, you're going to end up running into issues where you can't roll back. All those files will be deleted and you won't be able to roll back your system. So going into the update and security here, you can see here in the recovery section, there is a go back to previous version of Windows 10. Like I said before, this is only here for 10 days. After 10 days, this uh, rollback feature will be removed and you won't be able to roll back. Now, sometimes when you're having issues with your system, whether you've just updated to the very latest version, you can go in here and it will give you some questions of what's happening to your system. You can put a tick in here or you can tell them what's going on. It will also say before you roll back your system, check for updates. Sometimes they release fixes and bug fixes for this and you can click update and then go and check for updates. Unfortunately for me, this update wasn't fixed and I had to roll back. Now, this is not always for every single person that uses their Windows 10 operating system. Some people have no trouble at all with their updates and other people may have audio issues or other types of issues with their system. So what I'm going to do is going to roll back this system. So I'm going to go back in here, tell them what's going on. It's an app issue and I'm going to say no thanks. Then you're going to get what you need to know. So basically read all this information here and you can see here after going back, you'll have to reinstall some apps and some programs that you've installed. Also, you may lose any sort of changes that, or settings that you've made to the system. Also, it's going to say, are your files backed up? This shouldn't really affect them, uh, but it's best to be prepared. In other words, if the rollback feature goes wrong somewhere and you can't roll back or it just doesn't let you go back or forward after you've had an issue with it, then you're going to lose all that data. So it's always best to basically back up all your data yourself and don't rely on Microsoft to do it for you. Um, you can see here, don't get locked out. It's basically saying if you used a different password for the sign in on your previous version or previous build, then you will need to make sure you know what that previous p uh, password was. Otherwise, you're going to be locked out of your PC. Once you reboot your system, you're going to get the restoring your previous version of Windows. This is pretty easy to do. And um, I've had no issues with my rollback, but again, I have known people to actually roll back and have issues with the rollback process and lost all their data. So be very, very careful when doing this. You can see we're now back to uh, 20H2 here. I'm going to go back into update and security recovery, and you can now see that that feature has now been removed uh, because we haven't uh, upgraded to the latest version of uh, Windows 10 that they're offering. So if we go back into control panel here and back into programs and features, you'll see inside the view uh, installed updates, you can see that has now been removed and we've been rolled back to an earlier version or previous version of Windows 10. Now, if you can't uh, boot up your Windows at all, then you need to remove it via this method. You can restart your system here and it will do five attempts to boot up. And if it can't uh, boot up, it will take you into choose an option. Go to troubleshoot. And then go to advanced options here inside here you're looking for uninstall updates inside here you'll get to be able to choose an option to uninstall the latest quality update or uninstall the latest feature updates you can then go into the option that you want to remove and then log into your pc via this method here by putting your password in select ok and go next 
and then uninstall that feature update. It's that simple. Once you click on this button, it will start to uninstall that feature update or the update that you installed and go back to a previous version of Windows 10 that you was using before. Just make sure you back up all your data on a regular basis and that way you're not going to run into any issues where uh, the rollback feature goes wrong and you end up losing all your data. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this one's been useful. Just want to say a big shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I shall see you again for another video tomorrow. Bye for now. <laughs>